You guys want to know how much money I've spent on these goddamn dollar store? Good thing I'm selling my Christmas trees or I'd be shopping at the friggin' food bank. Okay, so I'm back at the home ford of the Carving Fusion Chainsaw Carving Station. Just want to tell you guys a little story what happened this morning. I had to go get some of these silly little brushes from the dollar store, okay? Because I'm going to be doing another burning project on this piece of cedar right here. So, I got my brushes. It was early this morning. Not that early. I don't know, around 9 or something like that. Got the little brushes. And uh, this, this lady with a buggy, I didn't look to see what was in her buggy, were at the dollar store. Like this, this store, a Dollarama here, okay? So anyways, she walks up in her buggy at, this, at the entrance to the to pay the same time as me. So I'm thinking, gentlemen, I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. Go ahead, ma'am. So she scoots, so she's like, oh, thank you. She scoots ahead of me, uh, some Asian lady. Um, she scoots ahead of me, and um, she goes to the till. There's only one girl working at the till. So then all of a sudden, she starts pulling all these metal cans. I'm like, what the hell's in those cans? Like little squirt cans, it was all spam. Okay, you know that crap meat spam, that junk stuff. Anyways, dollar store spam at the best. I don't know. Some of you guys might like that stuff, but it might be okay fried once every ten years if you got nothing else to eat. But she's got sixty or seventy cans of it. So she's the then the the till girl. The till girl is takes her time scanning each one. Do having a look around, scan the next one. How I'm thinking, Jesus, 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 Jordy, don't snap. Just don't do it. So anyways, 10 minutes later, she finishes scanning the, the spam cans. And uh, the lady goes, oh, do you have a box? She's like, no, we can't give boxes. She goes, can I get a box? I just bought all this meat from you guys. I needed a box. She goes, we're not allowed to give our boxes out because it's, it's got the name brand on it. So then anyway, she's like, oh, what do I do now? And I, says, and I said, lady, can you please just put the cans in your buggy and move ahead and figure it out after? There's like 10 people in line here. We need to get... We need to pay for our stuff. She's like, "Oh yeah, yeah." So her friend helped her put the cat stuff in the in the guy in the she whatever. So, anyways, I get out of there finally. Then I go to the gas station to get myself this coffee here because I was there. The gas station is almost right next door to it. So I go up to the till, and all of a sudden, there's this older fellow. I'd say he's in the 75, 70s. He was right at the till same time as I got to the till to pay for my stuff. And there, in my kind heart, I'm thinking, okay, well, seniors first, right? So, go ahead, sir. And then he's like, uh, all of a sudden he pulls, he's like, oh, thank you. He pulls out 30 lottery tickets he needs to get scanned and all this goddamn bullshit. Bullshit, people! This is why I carve, okay? This is why I carve, this is why I'm here. So, yeah, that's it, I've had enough of it. Enough storytelling from Jordy today. You ever seen a fat white man snap that's carved too many Christmas trees? Have you? Oh. Okay, so on to carving. We're gonna, uh, so guys, I did that, I burnt that wood spirit that I did before. It turned out pretty good, but I used a dye too thick. But I like the way it worked. There's a name of this Japanese. I don't want to write it down or have to remember because I'll forget it. Tofo, Sugi, Chow, Dan, or something. I don't know. What I'm calling this is burning the wood real deep getting rid of the charcoal and seeing what happens then dyeing it i got some dye. i need to calm down guys okay so here i'm gonna calm down okay so hello people today we're gonna carve some wood spirits on this nice bright piece of red cedar how's that is that better okay so anyways i'm gonna carve a wood spirit here i'm not gonna film when i'm drawing it out people are messaging me and uh so i'm gonna carve wood spirit here and one here, maybe even one down here. We'll see how the day goes. Because um, then I want to burn them. I want to burn it. And then I, that's why I got these brushes here. To brush it off. I'm not going to sand it. This time I'm going to brush it. I might use my little sander. I brought my little flap sander for my drill and just to clean up some areas. But that's what I'm going to do today. So we'll see how this turns out. Because I wasn't happy with what I was saying. I wasn't happy with the way the trees, the trees ended up. They didn't really show the grain. So show Sugi... 
down or whatever it's called the, the original stuff they used is cedar okay so this is what I'm using cedar today guys this is straight face grain here okay you see the grain and the, the grain goes this way like this would be side grain or whatever called edge grain this way but this is face grain so you when I burn it you should get some nice lines in here so I, I gotta I'm not gonna quit till I know that I know how to do it that's the way I am I've always been that way you know don't give up if you suck at something one time try it again try it over and over and over and over again so that's what I'm gonna be doing on this sucker Tofan Do Sang Mang Chang Dung Burning okay guys so I'm more calmed down now I'm sorry I, my videos are never supposed to be negative but it just I needed to share that so I got this wood spirit I was first gonna carve a wood spirit on the side here because this is the easiest angle to carve a face you know, if you see his nose there, his eyes would be here. But you get the flat grain, the face grain on this side, but you don't get it on this side, okay? You see, this is edge grain here, but it's flat grain here. See, this is edge grain here too. So I was going to do a face here, and then one on this side. Let's see here. I was going to do a one on this side, then one on this side. But the center's going to, the, the top's going to be your centerpiece. So I'm going to start off doing a face right here so we'll see I'll carve this in quickly I'm not gonna film today guys because I'll be doing more talking I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but I'll just show you step by step what I'm gonna do okay so I'm gonna block this out with my chainsaw once again guys I got my 19 MS 193 here rear handle with a pruning bar a real slim pico chain just sharpened it I got my steel toe boots on my chainsaw carving pants you can also get chaps I got my safety gloves, okay, I got my hearing protection, I'll put it in a minute, and I got my glasses that I wear, so, and your respirator for when you're doing your sanding stuff, okay? So let me get started here, and we'll just, uh, just like Rob says, just carve Rob, but this is just carve Jordy. Just carve Jordy! Just carve this guy. Just want to take one more second and talk here. I don't know how this is going to turn out, because this is really soft cedar, so you guys... I just don't know how it's going to turn out. I'm saying that right now before the end of the video, but let's hope it turns out. Okay, guys, you can see I got my face blocked out now, okay? I don't know what I'm going to do with this part yet, like hanging out here. I might leave it. It's kind of neat, actually. So, you see I kept on taking my mustache down. This isn't the tutorial, guys. This is just kind of showing you guys my step-by-steps. Okay, so I got it all blocked out with my chainsaw. Went pretty depth in there. See how I brought the forehead back, guys, with my saw? It goes this way, then my eyebrows will be here. So then once your eyebrows hit, then your head goes back. You know, that's the way I do it anyways. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna carve. You guys gotta remember too, this is a burning carving. I'm gonna char the hell out of this piece with my torch, my propane torch there, right? And um, so I'm not gonna make this a detailed carving. I would like to put eyeballs in this, guys, but if I do, they'll just burn away. Or if I do put eyes in here, which I'd like to give this guy, if I do put eyeballs in here, I won't torch too much around the eyes. You know what I mean? I don't know, I'll figure it out. But anyway, so what I'm gonna do to do the shaping, I'm gonna be wearing my desk mask, okay? I'm gonna be using this cut saw. Again, I repeat myself, guys. I hope you got some stuff on the sale yesterday. This is quarter inch, extreme flame burr. On uh, old school uh, power uh, die grinder. My buddy Pete, the mad scientist, got me. It's working pretty good, Pete. Actually, it's holding up. It doesn't have as much power as the newer ones, but it's working just fine for me. I got this little knockoff Dremel thing. What is this carving machine? Just to do some little smaller carvings with the cuts all in here, too, that's plugged up. I need to burn that stuff out of there. And I don't know why, but this is the Dremel Power Horse Advantage. These are discontinued. But I got this sander on here. I don't know why this thing has a sander. Maybe I'll run it really slow kind of ass backwards I should have this cut saw burr on this and the sander on this but whatever okay so I'm gonna do that now and I'll decide if I want to put eyes in this guys or not because it is it worth it if I'm gonna burn is it worth it okay so I'm ready to burn now here I'll, if I decide to put eyes in I'll car carve the eyes in and reburn it lightly after I do this burning like torching this hot chart so this is real cedar guys this is the real McCoy stuff so there's two things I wanted to point out for your wood spirits when I got a big scale like this. You can see this beard, when I got it blowing off to the wind, whoosh, this way, 
you can see how I got this coming up and under, right? So it's blowing with the wind. See, it's coming up and under. This one, up and under. Up and under and over. And then this one goes down inside. So wind, pretend wind. Blowing it under. And this one, this mustache. Sorry guys, I think I might have said beer, but this mustache is up, up and over. Okay, and then blowing with the wind. And I just bleed them all together. So this is the mustache here. You see, I just bleed it in with the beard. Mustache bleeded in with the beard, okay? So I'm gonna torch this thing now. I'm not gonna film me torching it, no. But I just wanna say, this is two different types of torch, okay? This is a turbo torch. It goes on the bottle like this, pretend this, well, whatever, it just goes on the bottle like this. Pretend, this is a turbo torch, and this is, uh, I don't know the name brand of this torch. But in my opinion, guys, just in my opinion, these turbo torches, burn a lot harder than your standard torch. Burn a lot harder, okay? So this goes on here. Pete made this uh, for me last year, this get up on the propane tank, and this one just goes on here. You guys, be very safe when you're using fire. You know, I got my fire extinguisher there. I got my little blue spray bottle full of water there. So just be real careful guys. So I'm gonna torch this right now like crazy. Okay, bye. Okay. I got this sucker torched right up. This is the original way, guys. This is cedar, red cedar. I don't know if it's red cedar, the Sogi uh, cedar that they got there in Japan, but it's cedar anyways. So I got it torched straight up. I got it torched all the way around. When you, when you do a straight edge like this, guys, try to be consistent with your torch, like same speed, same same depth away from the piece you know what I mean because you're gonna get nicer burns but I wasn't I just bah, 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 bah. this is what I mean pretend this is your, pretend your torch is burning and just go same speed same far away same as far away you are and just go nice consistent right so on straight gain, gain like that you can do that but I didn't I don't care I don't have time for that shit so Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sand this with these silly little brushes that I bought uh, from the dollar store this morning. I don't know what this, I don't know what this stuff's called. Just a dollar store brush, okay? So I'm just gonna hit it like this. Oh yeah! Look at that, look at that green pop in there. And it's bumpy. It's bumpy, all right. Okay, so I gotta do this on the whole thing. So now, I gotta try and get it brighter than this though. That's, I guess the more scrubbing you do, the brighter it will come. Okay, so anyways, I gotta do that on the whole way around. So I thought, I got two different colors. Okay, I got I got a crimson red here, and uh, Pete gave me some yellow this morning. So I wanted to try and mix the two colors into one piece. I don't know if I should do like yellow all the way around here and just make the face red. Like so this will be all yellow around here. And then just the face red. Cause I think those two colors would look uh, pretty cool. I wanted to do blue and red like I said about in the live chat last night, but that just reminds me too much of Superman. And Pete says there, people say that those colors on the color board that artists use, they don't match. So it's gonna be yellow and red today. So let me get this uh, scrubbing down with these silly little brushes, man. Oh. oh yeah, also guys, when you're burning, make sure you don't catch yourself on fire. Safety first, guys, safety first. Goddamn thrift store jacket. Okay, so I got lots of it. Uh, this is a dirty job, guys. I got lots of it done. Look at the grain in there, guys. There you go, there's some authentic cedar right there. Eh? That's a spit test. 
spit test. Look how dark it goes. Okay, so now I got to. Uh, yeah, they're looking at the bumps in here now. You guys can see the bump there, right? Bump, bump. Now I gotta find a way to sand it more. Maybe I should just keep on scrubbing with the brush. There's dents and stuff in there, but I don't care. That's just from the way the wood was. That's what came out pretty consistent, I'd say. Good enough for me anyways. So let's see here. I guess I'll just keep on scrubbing and try and get it later. I don't know what color I can use on this. Can you do the spit test? Look how dark it goes. I don't know. I'll have to think. Maybe I'll have to ask Buzz Pete and see what good old Pete says, eh? The mad scientist. Okay, so since I want this one to be a freaking masterpiece, okay? I'm gonna uh, carve in the eyes. I'm just gonna carve it really deep make them look like marbles or golf balls inside those lines and cut on the outside of lines real deep like I don't know maybe even a quarter of an inch half an inch and try and make the inside there look like marbles or Jesus golf balls or whatever kind of round something round yeah okay I got his guys cut in with the cut saw taper bit I'll show you see how deep I went now I got a round off inside here I undercut underneath the eyebrows too it will separate the eyeball from the eyebrows okay <clears throat> So good thing I was thinking ahead, good thing I was thinking ahead of myself last night and I got these uh, really shallow aluminum cutters and put them in my car last night. So this is the tape, this is the cut saw burr that I used to carve it. Extreme taper. And I'm gonna put these ones on now. One of these ones. Okay guys, so I got this aluminum cutting burr here now. Now I'm just going to round the eyeballs. When you're burning, they don't have to be perfectly round because lots of the burning will do that too, okay? I might give this guy some uh, age lines under here too. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm just going to round these eyeballs out now. Oh, another thing. You can notice how far I got my burr uh, sticking out. I usually say to put the head really, really close and then pull it out a little bit. I got this far out though, so I can get in there no problem, right? I'm just going to run it at a slower speed. Okay, I got his eyes carved in now too, okay? So there you go, they're round enough for me. I didn't give them any age lines because they just burn away, okay? So I carved his nostrils in too. So what I'm going to do now is just use my special custom carving fusion paint tree that I sell for $2,000. If you want to buy one, you can email me at uh, uh, CanadianOneDudeGmail.com. $2,000, guys, get them while they last. And a uh, dollar store paintbrush. I'm just going to paint in the in inside. I don't know if the torch is going to burn it away. I'm going to paint around the inside of the eyeballs and the nostrils just to help out so I don't have to burn that much, okay? Just around the edges of the eyeball on the bottom. Okay, so here's my water spray bottle. You guys can get my point. I just kind of blobbered in the black there, so I got the nostrils painted in. So, when I'm burning in here, okay, torching it with a torch. I don't want to torch these eyebrows away anymore. So what I'm going to do is get my little water bottle here and, and spray up here. Keep that wet. I'm going to keep all this stuff wet because I don't want it to burn away anymore. You know what I mean? So just when I'm spraying, just the eyeballs will burn. I hope. Okay, so let me do that and I'll be back. Okay, there you go. You can see the eyeballs are burnt in now. So now I gotta get something to get in there to sand all that down. They flattened out a bit. You can tell the right one's a bit more rounded than the left one, but who cares? You know, and you guys can see in the back left there, back left of that eye, you can see it's black there. Well, you can just put paint in there. It doesn't matter. Or maybe I should burn it a bit more because look at that spot on the nose. That needs to be burnt out probably. I think, yeah, I'm gonna burn it just a little bit more. And then I'm going to brush it out and clean it up as much as I can. Burn, baby, burn! Sometimes you just need to have a sip of Dr. Pepper. All right, yeah, Dr. Pepper. Ah. Okay, so I cleaned his eyes up a bit with some sandpaper, okay? So I got tired of sanding by hand. 
So when I, I rigged up, I, luckily I thought I had again, and I brought one of my little flop sanders on this uh, flex shaft. I've had, this is a WEN rotary tool, guys. Okay, this, you can buy these cheap on Amazon or eBay. For real cheap. I've had this thing here for two years now. I don't run it that hard and it lasts. So, you know what I mean? You don't have to have it. Doesn't have to be a Dremel. It can be a cheap knockoff one. One's not bad. I did have a wind catch fire, a little smoke and stuff. And see that? See those sawdusts in there? You should blow that stuff out too, guys, because that will slow you, slow down your motor from uh, heating up if it's clear, if it's clean, right? You know what I mean? If this, if you keep this clear, your motor won't heat up. And whatever. Shut up, Jordy, and just sand. Okay. You guys ready to see this spirit? Here we go. Look at that green. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm trying to get at right here, guys. You can see it, it's nice and dark. It pops, it's bumpy. Oh, it's like a huge bump there. I love it, I fucking love it, I don't care. Fucking right, yes! I'm taking it home, I'm freezing my ass off. I'm gonna slice it off right here, my chainsaw. I'm taking it home and I'm gonna die it at home. Oh yeah! <laughs> so this will just be able to sit on somebody's wherever they want to put it. If I ever want to sell this one. You know, progress guys, it just goes to show you, don't give up and just keep on, uh, hey, it's not done yet, it's not died. So I'm thinking about dyeing the face and the beard, um, red, and all the stuff below it, yellow. I don't know, I'm gonna buzz Pete, see if he's in the shop, maybe I'll stop by there and see what he's gotta think. Yes! Fuck this shit makes me happy when you when you succeed, you know? It really does, and you guys are probably the same too. Yes! Okay, so I'll see you back at the home fort. I gotta get back there and people coming over for Christmas trees anyways. Cool, I, I just stopped by uh, Pete's house here. I uh, made this, when I cut this off with my chain, so I made this mark and Pete's got a, the nice big wicked band, so, so he said he'd help me cut, a, cut this bottom straight. Hey Pete, can I show him the, your uh, burl stuff? Yeah, this is uh, maple, maple burl, I got him from uh, Vancouver Island, right Pete? So this is his wood turnings. You guys can see the spalting in there. What did they say those lines were called again, Pete? Well, we call them... Quilting? But what do you call them? Quilting. Yeah, quilting. But the, the black lines are spalting. Yeah, so look at that. That's the maple burl that I got from Vancouver Island like a three weeks ago. But those, look at those lines in there. That's like uh, quilting. Natural. That's just the natural stuff of the wood. And he turned it and he stained it or dyed it. Isn't that beautiful? There's, there's, I, hate, I don't like picking this stuff up because they could drop things. But look at this one. Look at all the crazy green in that. How long do you think it took you to make this one, Pete? Say hi. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Pete doesn't like being on camera. A couple, uh, couple hours. Yeah, so this is for all the wood turners out there. This is all from the same, uh, even this one, Pete? Yeah, that's the same one. This is all from that maple burl that I give him that he turns. I'm going to turn my fan on, okay? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I just want to show them this one. Yeah, but look at all those quilting lines. Okay, I've got a better notebook. Straightest cut I ever made with my chainsaw. Perfect. 
Oh yeah, this is the holy grail, this one. I agree. Pete, do you think I should uh, sound it more to make it brighter areas, or do you think that's okay where it's at? You're gonna, when you add color, the lighter it is, the more color you're gonna that's see. What, that's what I mean. Do you think I should take some more time to sand the higher, some higher points? I would, just to get some more highlights. But I wouldn't do it too much. It's that's what cool I cool the way it is now. Yeah. I don't, why don't you, you do this one like this and do the next one? Try the next one a little different if this one isn't as nice as you like. What do you mean? So you're going to do another one of the same cedar, right? Yeah, I got one so piece So do on. this one without sanding. And then if you don't like the highlights, sand the next one a little bit more before you dye it. Yeah, okay. I'm going to make this face, this face is going to be the yellow. And all around here is going to be uh, um, red. So red and then yellow. Oh yeah, this one's the holy grail, this one. Sorry about the mess in here. I did not have company today. Sorry about that, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at all those wood turnings, guys. Okay, thanks, Pete. Cool. So, I say in all my other... The best lighting is the sun lighting, guys. So, Absolutely. Right, Pete? Yeah, the best lighting you can get is sunlight. So if you can carve outside, carve outside. But anyways, I asked Pete to pull these uh, turnings out that he did. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them. Good here, Pete. What's the best lighting you can get to see this? So this is a, he painted, what what did you do in here, Pete? Yeah, I painted the inside with uh, Joe Sonia iridescent paint. The wood before I cast it in resin. Yeah, this is a yellow cedar burl? Yep. This is yellow cedar burl. This is maple burl. I don't know if you guys can see the sparkles in that uh, paint, but this thing's cool. And this is a, another, geez, oh, look at this one in the sun. This one's like the one that I got. This is for the friend that uh, gave gave me the burl to give to Pete. Is this the one? Yep. But it looks like an ocean scene in there. Is this yellow cedar burl or is this the maple? maple. That's from, from the maple heat you, you got for me. Yeah, and did you paint this one too? Yes. Yeah, but look how it, it's like all those bubbles. Yeah, it's, that's wicked. I don't know if they're going to be able to see too well. Yeah, there you go. And then this one is a flat black. That's the maple burl too that he gave me. That's all maple burl there. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. Nice job, man. And you just, what kind, did you mix the dye in the epoxy there? Yep, just black dye. And you're making one with lights in it right now too, eh? Okay, guys, see you later. I gotta go back to the home fort. Thanks, Pete. Okay, so here I am at the home fort with this guy. Look at that grain, people. This is the real deal. This is what they used to do it with, and this is what the natives do it with. This is cedar red cedar so I've, i kind of wanted to make it lighter sand a little bit but if you do too much sanding you're going to lose these black lines that's what happened on the trees that's my conclusion okay too much sanding you'll lose you lose the black lines I don't know, you guys can see how bumpy they are but they're bumpy okay so what i'm going to do now i've come to the conclu another conclusion after talking to Pete and his wife, Pete, thanks Pete for helping me cut this straight. I burnt the bottom here and I sanded it so it won't chip away that easy. Um, guys, for this piece, I'll sign it on the on the bottom, right? But I'm going to dye this thing red. I got this, uh, what's it called? Uh, Brilliant Crimson Red. So they say to leave this in warm water sitting for 20 minutes. You guys, I know, here's a spit test, okay? Spit test all it is. I know how dark this is going to go. Okay. You don't need to tell me it's going to go too dark. But so after I'm done the red, I might let it dry a bit for 20 minutes or whatever it takes. I don't care. And then I might sand the high points with my little sander or maybe just hand sand some high points. Yeah, if you look at that bump there, that's because the burning, right? The harder wood's the black lines, but you can see it right there. Anyways, back on track. I might sand the high points and uh, dye it yellow in there to give it some texture. 
know what I mean? So I want the whole, I don't care how dark it goes. I want this piece to be dark, guys. And I'm doing this the way I want to do it, not the way people think I should do it, right? And you should do the same too. Okay? So, okay, once again, I'm going to dye the whole thing red. Maybe not too dark red. I'll just mix it up. I don't know what the formula is. I don't care. I'm going to mix it up how I see fit. And then I'm going to, once it dries, I'm going to sand the high points a bit and dye them yellow. And it will, should go a bit orange, reddish orange color. So that's that. Why is it, why is this part blurry here? Sorry, guys. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so they say to mix it with warm water. So here's warm water. Okay. And uh, you're supposed to let it sit for 20 minutes so I guess all the pixels can dilute properly. So let's put, uh, I'm not measuring nothing, I'm just pouring some in. I don't know, Pete told me the formula earlier, but or somebody did, I forget. So just mix her up. And then uh, we'll let her sit for 20 minutes. You guys don't need to see any mix in this. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. And I, I can't find any gloves, so let's hit this. Look at those lines, how black they're coming. Oops. This is the fun part. Look how black those lines are going, guys. Okay, and they say to get a rag too, and uh, wipe it with a rag. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Better you see the Karate Kid. It's like wax on, wax off. I guess. Change my mind. Do the face. Oh yeah. Satan spirit. Okay, guys, why don't I just finish this and uh, because this is probably boring for you guys to watch, and then uh, we'll show you what it looks like once this is finished. You see how cool it looks now, eh? Okay, so the red dye has dried. Let's do a slow scan of this, people. Look at those grains. Look at those grains. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's get a better visual of it. Look at that sucker. Love it. Love it. This is what I was trying to do. So you can see there. So, like, there was dents in the wood before. I don't care about this stuff. This is what I was trying to do is get these grains to pop and look here it's they're popping they're flowing they're swaling so I don't think I'm still done yet okay I think I'm gonna sand the high points and I'm gonna dye them yellow and they'll so they'll probably turn um, orange you, you guys really don't get uh, justification on this uh, video of the how beautiful the color of this is actually with the green This is the real McCoy people. This is the real, real deal with cedar. No joking around about this, kids. And you guys know, I, like, I want you to know, I don't make these videos to say, oh, look what I can do, look what I can do. 
That's what not these these videos aren't about that. They're about saying, look what I can do better now. Let me learn and see if I can do it better. If I don't succeed the first time, second time, or third time, there's always a fourth. Okay, so let me sound these high points. I don't know, I just might sound the high points and leave it like that, but I don't know, I'd kind of like to get some orange color in there too. I think it would add some extra texture. Love it, fucking love it. Pardon my F-bombs, love it. Okay, so stage two is complete. You know, I haven't really used this dye stuff too much. I'm just still learning with it, but I, I sanded it lightly with 240 grit and it basically doesn't really sink too deep into the wood. It's just basically on the surface. I thought this wood would suck it uh, in a lot more, but not really. So I've gone around and scuffed up, make it look all antique. You see guys here, like in his eye, it's not, this one's nice and round kind of. This one's not like that because I guess that burnt it was softer in there. It doesn't matter. It gives it character. Okay, but you can feel really, let's see the grain. So now I got this yellow sitting here. Supposed to leave it in 20 minutes in warm water. It looks orange right now. But uh, then I'm going to put the yellow dye on it. I don't care. I can absolutely leave it like it is right now. 100%. But no way. That's not why I'm making this video. I'm putting yellow on this sucker. You're getting yellow. Yes, you are. Eh, eh. Definitely. Okay, so we'll, uh, let me put the yellow on and we'll be back. But just to let you guys know, I was also warned by uh, a good buddy that putting yellow on red might turn to orange. You know I should just leave it, but that's not what this video is about. I'm doing it. Even if it turns orange, I don't care. I call it a, this one a success. Okay guys, it's finished. You know what? Some people might not like the color, but you know what? I, I friggin' love it. So let's have a nice slow look at it. Well, look at the grain. Look at it just pop. What do you think guys? We love reading the comments below. This looks like a Japanese mountains down here. It really does if you type in like uh, old school Japanese mountains. It kind of looks like old Japanese art. Man, I absolutely love this piece. I, yeah, I effing love it. 1000% satisfied. Just shows you guys, just goes to show you guys you know, if you try something that doesn't work out, don't quit trying. Keep going. Look at the colors in this, man. I left this more red back here. You can see the red in there. The yellow it looks like it's shiny. This piece isn't shiny, guys. It's dull. But look, it looks like it's shiny. It looks like it's glowing. You know what I mean? Like there's a reflection there, a reflection there. It's not shiny in real life, guys. It's dull, but it looks shiny. It looks like it's glowing to me. Like it's the rising sun or moon shining off of it or something. I don't know. Some of you guys might not like the colors. But I absolutely love it, man. I'm going to have a hard... If somebody wants to buy this piece, I'm going to have a hard time selling it. Because uh, I made it for myself. I should have worn my gloves. Now I'm going to have this dye on my fingers for probably a week. I think I gotta go carve another one tomorrow. I just love it too much. You guys, you can do the same too. You absolutely can. Look at the colors right there. Look at it, guys. This is it. What's the name? Show, uh, Shao Sogi Don. This is it, guys. This is it. This is the original way. This is the cedar way with the cedar. You guys, this video is not about look what I can do. It's about what I, look what I can do better if you push yourself. I'm not really happy with that either. It's like, but it doesn't matter. It's part of it. It's part of it. This guy is damn cool. 
cool. Man, I love it. I gotta stop talking. I'm not bragging, but I just love the colors in this. I don't know if Pete will, but me, I love it. I friggin' love it. Hope everybody's good. Love reading the comments. Try it, guys. Get some cedar, pine, whatever you got. Try it. Cedar worked best for me. Just a weathered old soul. Japanese style.